What's up everybody, this is Reverend Guns, and today we're going to be taking apart and cleaning a Glock 19X. So the first thing we want to do is make sure it is clear and safe to work on. So right here, behind the trigger, is the mag release. You will press that, and it will cause the magazine to pop out. We're going to set this aside because we don't want any cleaners or solvents on this. Next, we're going to slide the slide completely back and use the slide lock lever to hold it open. So pull back, hold it open, and now we want to look down in the barrel here to see that there is nothing in there. All right, so now that we've made sure it is clear and safe, we can go ahead and uncock the slide and go ahead and pull the trigger, okay? And to take it apart, uh, there are two little switches right here above the trigger on both sides. The idea is to pinch them and pull them downward while you've got the slide back a little bit. So pull it back just a little bit, don't take much, okay? Pinch those two little, little switches and pull them downward. Now let go of the slide. Now you can let go of the tabs and the slide should just slide right off. Okay, so we got the frame. To take out the guide rod and spring, you need to compress it and, and lift up. So compress, lift up, and that will allow you to pull it out of the muzzle end. The barrel is the same thing. You just kind of lift up a little bit, it'll try and slide forward. And if you lift it up from the back, you can pull it completely out. Okay. These are the pieces we are going to be cleaning today. I'm going to do a quick spray down on these and uh, let them soak for a second. All right. And while that is soaking, I'll explain the tools that you're going to need. You're going to need uh, the 9mm barrel brush. This is the, the cleaning inside of the barrel. I've got a soft nylon brush. It's got a little detail end on it so you can get into smaller areas. I have a harder nylon brush to get the real stubborn carbon off if need be. I don't tend to use the steel or the brass because I don't want to run the risk of scratching the frame or the slide or anything. I, and honestly, I think it's just too aggressive. You don't need anything more really than the soft nylon brush. Gun cleaner. Um, I suggest you try the different ones that are out there. Everybody has their own opinion and preference. So find one you like and, and use it. Uh, we don't need any of these tools up here. But we do need the jag. This is a 9mm jag. Or you can use a slotted cleaning rod. doesn't matter. Uh, I, I prefer the jag because it takes less... Uh, passes to go through and clean out the rest of the barrel. Um, I've got some gun oil. I've got a little rag that I use just for gun oil so I know it's not contaminated with anything else. I've got some patches here. Q-tips sometimes come in handy and a couple of rags sitting here so we can wipe stuff off as we go. So let's get started. I'm going to start with the barrel because that is the one thing that kind of matters how you do it. Everything else you can pretty much just scrub down get everything clean and wipe it off but the barrel kind of matters you want to make sure you go in from the back yes that means two things and then cram it all the way through okay same way of coming back go all the way through you don't want to stop in there and the reason why we do that is because on the muzzle end you risk the chance of hitting it and you don't want to damage the end of this with any dents or chips you know it'll cause accuracy issues and other problems so to prevent that we we go in from the back and it may feel gritty at first which is okay that's all the stuff you're trying to break up and get clean um, you just want to keep doing it until you feel it starting to smoothen out and once you feel that it's not really fighting you anymore and there's not much in there you can pretty much call the inside of the barrel done. I'm going to grab our little nylon brush 
and start going over everything else dirt carbon anything that's left on here this is your opportunity to get it off all right once you do that you can grab your rag and wipe everything off all right and the last part to clean off is the inside of the barrel there and that's where we're going to use our nifty little jag take a patch I do one at a time stab it in the center and again you put it in from the back and cram it all the way through okay and you'll see here this is all the residue that we are trying to get out of it anything black is what we're trying to get rid of so keep doing this until you don't see any more black now the the patch may not get completely like white it might be kind of a gray what but as long as you're not seeing black you're good so that was a pretty good pass too we'll do that one more time just to make sure it's good and that's why I like Jags it only takes a few of these to do it and be done and as you can see really no more black on here so we'll count the barrel is done uh, we can grab the guide rod and go over that real quick kind of brush out in between the springs try and remove any of the crud that's on there make sure you get the ends real well grab your rag wipe stuff off and guide rod and spring are done move on to the slide here basically you're just going everywhere you want to make sure you get down to the slide rails real well don't want anything to build up on those and prevent the cycle from happening and get the striker plate real good primer explodes right here so there will be some carbon get inside where the barrel is get the muzzle in a lot of carbon builds up there and the rest of it you know getting around the sights and the extractor You know, and anywhere else you might be handling it, it's a good time to get any fingerprints and dirt from the hands off. Once you got that pretty well scrubbed down, we'll go ahead and wipe things off. If you have a hard time getting your finger down in some of these grooves it's what I use the q-tips for and I'll do that here in just a minute once I get the the bulk of everything out and wiped off here because we don't want any of this solvent left on here Alright, like I said, if you want to use a Q-tip, I like to go down the, the slide rail real good just to make sure there's absolutely nothing in it. Get 
get in all the little areas that you can. Just kind of anywhere you struggled to get your finger, the rag. Alright, we will call the slide done. Move on to the frame. Like I said, you just go at it. Get all the internals real well. Time to go over the grip. Brush whatever you can. Now some of you might be looking at this going, why are you cleaning an already clean gun? No, well this was actually bought just brand new and it's got that preservative, you know, manufacturing oil on it. That oil is not lubricant. Okay, so it, it, it's not wise to, to shoot the gun right out of the box. You should be cleaning it off. Uh, cleaning all that oil off before uh, you take it out to the range and put actual gun oil on it. So that's what we're doing with this one. And again, the little small areas that you can't get your finger in. I use a Q-tip, really get in there. You know, get the slide rails real good. Just to make sure there's nothing stuck in there. Whoop, whoop. And that looks wet, but it's just that shiny. Alright, and so a lot of times I'll run the rag through the mag. Uh, just to kind of make sure I got everything wiped off. Alright. Time for some lube. So, I'm going to grab my gun oil here. And a little rag I've got for, for just gun oil. I'm going to spread a little bit on here. And let's start with uh, the frame. Um, you definitely want to get where the slide rests. The slide rails and, and basically where it's touching. Because it's going to create friction and heat. And basically you're looking for scratches or scrape marks or anything uh, with a new gun. That's a little difficult to see. So you're just kind of wanting to make sure you've got areas that look like are going to contact with the slide um, covered with oil. After the first time you shoot it, you should start seeing little, little wear marks. Um, we don't want to put oil all over this thing because it will just uh, cause dirt and dust to build up really quickly all over it and so we're only going to put it where we need it. Same thing with the uh, slide. Uh, we're looking for scratch marks, scrapes, you know anything that looks like it, it's been rubbing. Uh, we want to make sure we get oil there and 
allow those pieces to be nice and lubed and it's usually on the inside right here and a lot of times right here the barrel kind of scrapes up and down it we're not going to put it on the extractor because we don't want dirt and debris to, to build up on it and not do its job and uh, there we go that looks pretty good we call the slide done um, the guide rod on this one it, it's pretty difficult to actually get oil in here if you want to try and spread some in there you can it's not gonna hurt it you know but it, it's really not necessary the barrel same thing you'll be looking for little scratches and wear marks pretty much you're gonna do all of it except for the top part of the square and the the right side of the square and they typically this one has stampings on it so you know where that's at so everything else is pretty much an internal part you'll want to uh, cover those with oil um, this little peg that has the steps on it you, you don't want any oil on that that's where the uh, the guide rod sits and I'm going to show you that right now there's little steps here and one that kind of looks like a half moon that's where the end of the guide rod sits so remember that when you're installing this all right now we're gonna put it back together let's grab the slide here and I've got the muzzle end to my left you're gonna take the barrel and with those steps pointing upward you're going to slide it in the barrel hole and drop it in and then just slightly push it back that's how you seat the barrel you take the guide rod it's got uh, the big end the big spring end goes underneath the barrel the the flat with the smaller end goes on that little half moon I was showing on the barrel so take the big end stick it below the barrel and then compress it until you've got it sitting on that little half moon part of the step there and this is what it should look like all right so on the back side of the slide here you'll see two little notches those line up on the frame with the beginning parts of the rail here so that's what you're gonna line them up with and it just slides back on we'll go ahead and seat it completely by cocking it now we're gonna do a function check which is pull the trigger, cock, release, pull the trigger. Everything seems to be functional. So, only thing left to do would be our final wipe down. Get you a clean rag. And this is your time to polish everything else off. Once you wipe everything off make sure there's no oils no solvents no anything left on here you will have a very clean looking gun here we go and there you have it we have just taken apart cleaned lubed and reassembled a Glock 19X. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them in the comment section below. I will gladly get back with you and help you out. Don't forget to subscribe if you made it this far and uh, share this video with your friends. We'll see you next time. Thanks for watching. I also offer the online course to get your Texas license to carry a handgun. It's the four hour class broken down into segments and saves your progress so you can do it at your own pace. After completing the course, you can print your certificate. Then it will help you locate an instructor close to you, no matter where you are in Texas, so you can complete the shooting portion of the course. This is all certified by the Texas Department of Public Safety. Check it out at ReverendGuns.com. If you have any questions or comments, please add them below. Be sure to like and subscribe for more firearms education.